before we actually yeah. talk about the but... next time, um, mate or Sean, did any of you happen to message someone about a certain hashtag? What do you mean? Oh, I just got a message from someone, not going to name who, but they said hashtag bring back dummy. I don't suppose any of you guys happen to know what that is, or even Fireball. <laughs> Which... Seriously? Fireball, do you have something to say? Because you were laughing. Are you the, Man, are you like... the sus person? <laughs> well, the, the dummy is, a, is an awesome character, okay? He's really adorable. And I want to give him a hug. Well, speaking of uh, adorable characters, I guess, sort of, uh, the next time is Satana versus Scarlet Witch. Um, the first Marvel vs. DC fight of Season 9. And also, we're game, getting... Bro. Also, we're getting two DC characters back-to-back, -back again. Uh, I'll, I'll play World's Smallest Violin for you, mate. <laughs> No, I'm just I'm just pointing that out, and uh, something quite funny about it. So, uh, each previous time, a Flash has been involved. Like, we went from uh, Barry to Joker, then, uh, I believe it was uh, Wally West to uh, Red Hood, and now we're going Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. Oh, wait, no, uh, we had Batman to Eobard Fawn, and now we've got Harley to Zatara. I think this just goes to prove that DC have a lot of iconic characters to the point that I want to do them back to back. Hmm. Yep. And but and there's like other like scheduling stuff that, and we we don't know everything that goes on behind the scenes. So like some episodes get pushed back, others get pushed forward. They just really wanted to ruin the thunder for DC fans, there, didn't they? <laughs> so Tana versus Scarlet Witch. Um. I'm I was going to talk a little bit about Scarlet Witch, but I'm sure you guys will have a lot more to bring about her than I would. But um, when this matchup was uh, announced, I'm pretty sure me, May, and Sean pretty much all agreed on the winner. Um, my verdict doesn't change on who I think wins. Um, but Zatanna really did surprise me because I only know her from Young Justice and the original Justice League cartoon uh, I watched when I was a kid. Um, she didn't really leave much of an impression on me, but the only thing that I know about her, and this is from all my DC friends, she is the sexiest character in this matchup, apparently. <laughs> that that okay, is then. my... And I can see why. Let's be real here. Her outfit is very revealing. Even Wonder Woman would be like, Girl, you cover yourself right now. <laughs> the irony is that Wonder Woman used to show off, show off as much leg. Yeah, there you go. Well done, Sean. You explained my joke. <laughs> And do you know what? Um, I didn't. I don't. I don't hate her character because from all the things I've seen her in, she she's okay. She's just not one of those characters I'd go. That I wouldn't say is iconic as like Wonder Woman or Captain Marvel or, or even Catwoman and uh, Black Cat. Is she's just an okay uh, female character? Really, it's like eh, you know she's sexy and she has her moments. But what does she have in terms of her power? Well, pretty much magic. If uh, if her outfit is any uh, indication, she's a magic user. And in my notes here, which I looked on a uh, Reddit, I know probably the most reliable place. But there's one user I found. Um, I'm going to give a shout out because he even put links in. Baku 219. And this is this was made over seven years ago, so there might be some things that. You know, I might not bring out her most current feet, so I do apologise. Um, but, <laughs> we mentioned Benton versus Green Lantern. She has time on her side. Oh, yay. <laughs> we, we might be getting another what time you... travel fight. <laughs> uh, thanks for the tip. <laughs> I was I, waiting for someone to mention that. I really... Oh, uh, I'm not sure Scarlet Witch has that, but I'm sure you guys will bring out something about her, but, um... Oh, don't worry, I got my notes on Scarlet. I yeah. have a friend who's way into X-Men. Um, but yeah, pretty much her magic is somewhat similar to what, um, you know, a lot of her characters in her universe can do, like Dr. Faye and her father. I always forget his name, I'll put it on the screen. But basically... What? Um, whatever she can think about with her magic, she could do it. 
Uh, for instance, there was that one time she got machine guns fired at her, she just magically turned them into uh, paper aeroplanes. Had to admit, uh, that was pretty cute. So, oh, basically it's... Superman. Magicians are fun, aren't they? Um, she has astral projections, which basically means, you know, magical, like, attacks, you know. Uh, she can oh, sort of like shadow clones in a way. And, uh, yeah, I got, yeah. Right, astral yeah. projection, isn't that when you, like, separate your soul from your physical body? Huh, maybe it is. Hold on. Let me look at uh, my notes. No, I d maybe, it, maybe I, uh, copy and pasted it wrong, but she could have that. I don't have it in my notes. Uh, oh, uh, she can also heal with magic, because, you know, of course. And, uh, she can literally do Dio's signature move the world and just freeze time altogether. But, here's the thing though, a lot of her... <laughs> here's the thing I've kind of, um, noticed when I was taking notes though, a lot of her spells are more defensive. Um, like she can rebuild objects, uh, she can put up force field, she can teleport. Uh, stop time, free, stop time, uh, oh, she can also, uh, erase minds, pretty cool, uh, turn invisible, and, uh, oh, this is actually kind of cool, uh, I've got this at the bottom of my list, let's say, Tana. um, she once fought, uh, a universal beam, and they literally tore apart the universe. Was her name by chance either the Sparrow or Mary Marvel? Um, it doesn't have any names, but when I did look at it on Reddit, it does show a few comic panels of uh, her essentially like tearing apart like the panels of the comics during the fight. Uh, it looks like, it look, at one point, I think she ate a planet that got thrown at her, and then just spat it back at the person who threw it at her. Yeah, like a planet gets thrown at her, burns up from it, and she just eats it and just goes, <laughs> spits it right back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, that is that is hardcore, and clearly she has no she gag actually, reflexes. Yeah, actually, the daughter of Darkseid. Um, let's see, I don't think. Uh, I don't think the Darkseid. No, Dark Side, no her father. Has... No, her father's um some other magician guy. She has four dogs. I, I should say that she has four celestials. Um. Wait, what? Oh yeah, she's also fought uh, Dark Side. No, but you said I mean, she also fought Celestials. I'm pretty sure they're a thing in Marvel. <laughs> the Celestials are a general hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on, like... Mate, do you know what the definition of a Celestial is? I was gonna say they're like like angel-like beings of sorts. Yeah, like so a Celestial like God. literally means God. Yeah. Oh. To be fair, Disney at this point could just straight up buy that. <laughs> like, sorry DC, you can't use the word Celestials anymore, we own it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they did that with Captain Marvel, so I'm pretty sure anything's possible at this point. <laughs> um, um, what was this other thing I had in my notes? Um, oh yeah, um, this one I didn't, I couldn't find any images about it. Awakens the universe and commands all the seven soldiers to attack across space and time. I don't know what the seven soldiers are though. That was um. I think when I was writing these notes, I was at work, so I probably should have Googled that all after my shift. If, you, if people are wondering why it sounds like Zatanna has a lot of shit, she's compared to Dr. Fate. Yeah, then um, she it's is. DC. Yeah, yeah, that as well. Um, but yeah, her magic is also comparable to Dr. Fate. And in fact, in the Young Justice series, she was worthy enough to wield such power. Which I forgot to... exactly. I was gonna say, I forgot exactly who said this quote, but this is Doctor Strange and Doctor Fate, but with boobs. <laughs> you know what? There's the title of the podcast, everybody. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I've made some perverted jokes this episode. I'm starting to. Okay, fair enough. Um, oh, I was about to. I was about to say that was me because I remember saying this will be like Strange versus Fate two, but. Sean, as you went on, I was just like, I don't remember saying that on recording. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who said it though. Was that actually you? No, I don't. I don't <laughs> think I said the with boobs line. All right. Well, to wrap up my entertainment notes, uh, I'm sure there's probably things I'm missing, um, and there's probably things uh, that will get pulled up in the death battle. And uh, I'm sure you guys can bring up some things for her though. Um, but yeah, uh, she is comparable to Doctor Fate, who. If you guys remember from the previous death battle, Doctor Fate is not exactly someone to mess with. It's 
especially given the fact his magic literally like travels through space and time and he literally has the power to just end the multiverse if needed just to keep the balance of chaos and her magic was apparently she apparently has enough magic that she can wield such power as well but i should be clear about this this is only from young justice i think it was only in that show i'm not sure if she has worn that in the comics because if she, she probably had i think nearly so many characters have worn this helmet at some point even dr strange at one point so uh, who knows uh, if she can actually wield such power. Um, that's why I'm, I'm a bit iffy on wanting to give her any sort of scaling feat, because scaling character to Doctor Fate is on both. It's a bit of a tricky situation, because there's no character in DC as powerful as magic as Doctor Fate. He is literally the embodiment of chaos, and his power is that to destroy the universe if needed. Um, but of course, though, he, Nelson he does is a it dangerous need. man. Yeah, but he doesn't use this power regularly. If he did, he could logically win every single fight, let's be honest here. But of course, he's a member of the Justice League, he still wants to try and, you know, save the day, not, you know, destroy the universe. <laughs> but the fact that they've had a magic off a few times kind of shows that, you know what, Zatanna, you know, magic is still capable of attacking, defeating him. Or not defeating him, but, you know, matching him. But again, though, from all the notes that I've gathered here, it seems as though... Oh, also she has Mind Eraser. She can erase your memories. Um, but I think that's all my notes for Satana. Let me just scroll down. Yep, that's all my notes for her. And yeah, honestly, her magic seems more defensive, if I'm to be yes. honest. So unless someone can find me some feats in the comments about her potentially having... Uh, you know, other attacking magical abilities, then by all means. But as a Scarlet Witch, mm, I think it's best these guys explain. I, I was going to say, there's a couple of things with Satana, real quick. Um, oh, yeah? One of the things that might hinder her is Logomancy. Logomancy is the fact that Satana can only really cast a good amount of her spells by speaking backwards. Right, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be calling back to that, so keep an eye on that. Uh, her stuff is magician based, and she can use tarot cards as well. The problem with that is that her magic gets weaker the more she uses it. Oh. But hey, she can reward reality, so who cares? I was going to say, though, given what she can do with her limited magic, pretty impressive. But... We don't know exactly what spells they're actually going to imply to help out Zatanna versus uh, Scarlet Witch. I think before um, we do discuss Scarlet Witch, that whole backwards thing being a disadvantage, I wouldn't say so because she spent years learning magic. She can pretty much just cast spells just like that, really. So it's similar to Doctor Fate. She doesn't even really need to say the full commands of her spells. She can literally just hold out her hands and just think the spell and do it. Like she's just oh, that good, good amount of her spells kind of yeah, a good amount of her spells require logo Nancy, however. Of course, yeah. I'm just saying though, like, you know what, with a lot of her base attacks, what it seems, it seems like that wouldn't be too much of a disadvantage. But, you know, comparing it though to Scarlet Witch's abilities, mm, yeah, she, she kinda has that treatment of Doctor Fate where she doesn't actually need to save a spell. Hmm. Yeah, so um, what do you guys have on notes about Scarlet Witch? Uh, Mate, do you want to go first? Okay, so... In the... Uh, looking up a few things about what uh, Scarlet Witch can do. In short, her power is... Whatever she wants will happen. Fair enough. Like, at one point she went mad, shouted, no more mutants, and... All mutants in the universe were just erased. Uh, she's she's also even. she's also just made a celestial disappear. And uh, if you remember back in uh, 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 Batman vs Iron Man, they brought up how the celestials can like threaten the multiverse, just like Dark Side. So at the very bare minimum, like the whole Zatanna has fought Dark Side, so that should put them on like at least a comparable ish level. Hmm. Like the whole multiversal threat thing. It's kind of crazy how uh, a lot of DC characters at this point and Marvel characters are just 
you know, just comparable to these type of godly uh, villains. It's a bit crazy. To be fair, the writers uh, are just like, we do whatever the fuck we want. No, yeah, let's be real here. That is true. Oh no, that's the that's the case with Doctor Doom. That is also true. <laughs> uh, hey, as we said in our podcast uh, long ago with Doctor Doom's episode, Doom is bullshit. As is uh, Scarlet Witch, uh, and I should bring up Billy. You mentioned the um, Zatanna can like stop or like rewind time. Yep. Yeah, Wonder can do that too. I figured she Not could. Not only Ooh. that. Thanks to my friend for these extra notes. She has resistance to time stop. Oh. Really? Damn. So I guess she okay. could. Okay. So I guess time wouldn't be. Uh... She also, has, she also has resistance to mind manipulation. The only person who have ever affected her mind has been Charles Xavier. Oh, wow. Hmm. That yeah. is impressive. Uh, and the whole like, memory erasure thing, I think... Like, just, just based off of WandaVision, I bet uh, Wanda has that as well. Because, um... Uh, you remember Agatha? Like, she completely like just rewrote uh, her mind by the end. Is this it in comics Agatha or M? All along. <laughs> was this in um, Agatha is best girl? No one can dispute this. Um, was that only in the MCU though? Has she also done that in the comics, Agatha? I wouldn't be. I won't be surprised if she has done that in the comics. She has not. Oh, she hasn't. Nope. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Anyway. Oh my goodness. Hold uh, on. Wait, although hold I on. think I just thought it was something funny. This could be for Fine. whoever wins. I'm just picturing there's a recreation of that Mewtwo versus Shadow bit. Like, I don't know, one that mines gets erased, and they're just like, why am I floating? <laughs> awesome, well, I don't know who's directing the episode, but we do know who's researching Wanda. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, it's uh, someone we've played Among Us with. Zedon? No. No. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> Zedon Jr.? You want don't one be more dead. Guess, Phil? No, sorry, Phil. You ran out of three guesses. Okay, it, it's speedy. I know who it is. I yeah. just, I just thought I'd give Zedog a shout out because he's a good man. Yeah, he, he made our intro for last discuss death battle. Yeah, support him. <laughs> he made a really interesting matchup lately. I was actually very interested in it. And it's another League of Legends character. Yep. Oh. Go watch Zedog's videos. He's awesome. I tell you what, uh, mate, I might as well ask this, because um, we kind of figure out the Tamer's destructive uh, capability. What is, like, Scarlet's? Like, I I've just been told, like, yeah, just wherever she wants to happen, happens. Right, okay, fair enough. Um, and, like, I mentioned her, like, making a Celestial disappear. I imagine she's comparable to Doctor Strange, who is also who's also capable of just resetting the multiverse, like, whenever. Yeah, um, I don't think that's really going to do much to Zatanna, like, you know, the idea that, oh, she might want her dead. Even the fact that Zatanna the... literally tore apart reality during one of her fights for Universal B kind of shows I don't think that one entirely works, so Scarlet's going to have to resort to her other capabilities. Here's a popular example. You folks know the, the Phoenix Force. Of course. Ooh, yeah, no, I've heard about this. She once fought Namor, who had the power of the Phoenix Force. Nice. What? No, it get it gets even more insane. Not only that, she erased the Phoenix Force once. Damn. Which all Marvel vs. Capcom free fans would be happy about this. Uh, Wonder can also just like take someone's powers away. I mean, to be fair, some of her abilities are from her being amplified. But that's not going to be considered because of, of the Life Force. I don't know if they'll give her that. Oh, okay. As with the power of the Life Force, she once accidentally erased Hawkeye from existence. Oh, oh man. Her and Hawkeye in the comics actually had a strong relationship. It was an accident. Do that. Like a brother and sister he relationship. He accidentally do that. Well, when she was amplified by it, it kind of made her go out of control. Uh oh. Scarlet's cooler. Oh. Well, and everyone's bringing up how Scarlet's a reality warper too. She has something that actually can increase her stats. 
At one time, it increased uh, Quicksilver's powers, too. Can she use nope. that on herself, though? Because uh, I'm not sure if yes. she'll be able to bring... Okay, because so I was going to say, I'm not sure Quicksilver was going to be... Uh, a real... Oh my goodness, can you imagine if she did summon Quicksilver and Titan just opened the portal and he just ran into the sword of the other dead Quicksilver? <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> she went for a double this kebab. Is... This is pretty much <laughs> the equivalent of a Wiccan. Witch, te by technical terms, versus a magician. A witch! A witch! Burn And the witch at the stake! I wonder, will we have a scene kind of like the end of WandaVision where she like casts uh, those like runes? Where like the area the witches are in, only the witch who casts them can use her magic? Ah, I do wonder that indeed. Boo! Yeah, I'm going down right now! Ah, screw you! I just have the magic touch when it comes to these puns. That'd be I just so rude. Really disappear. All right, I I'm done with all the puns. I'll cast them aside God. for now. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, I'm too proud of you. You accidentally ones. just made another one. What do you mean accidentally? Oh, damn, really. <laughs> okay. On purpose and made it subtle. <laughs> anyway, one continue. Is Wanda's got probability manipulation, which can allow her to manipulate objects and things such as gravity. That's fun. I'll be honest, I would love to manipulate gravity just in my area, just for a few seconds, you know, just to float. No, just so you can redo that Asta movie clip. Screw gravity. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, the, the things I would do with that type of power. <laughs> Other manipulations that she can do with probability manipulation include the following. Light manipulation. Pretty standard. Yeah. Oh? Actually, yeah, I'm kind of wondering that as well. Like, does she turn the light into something? She draws light from all possibilities into a spectrum. Right, okay, then that makes sense. I was starting to think, what? like, what does she do with the light? Spectra <laughs> from Overwatch? She becomes a Kingdom Hearts character. <laughs> <laughs> Complicated stories. Uh, she has vector manipulation, which is pretty much she stopped it one time. She stopped one of Hawkeye's arrows from having any sort of momentum, and then made that bowstring randomly snap. Eh, okay, that's not too impressive compared to you know reality warping and you know controlling. She can the also manipulate technology as strong as Ultron's. Okay, now okay, too many people sleep on how that's powerful impressive. Ultron is, and yeah, that that is impressive. Right, many Marvel villains struggle fighting Ultron. I'm not, I know, I'm not a huge fan of Ultron, but you know what? I can definitely say, when he gets serious, he gets serious. Honestly, and when he dies, out. and then he dies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real here. That's like that's like Marvel DC's line <laughs> issues with villains. They're like, I'm so powerful, dead. What? The, it's physically impossible <laughs> for me to lose. Yeah, but you're the villain. We're the hero. You know. <laughs> I mean, her vector manipulation can also work on people such as Quicksilver, when she made Quicksilver fall over. Man, she, used to, she bullies her brother, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. damn, yeah. Right. Just existence bullies Quicksilver. I mean, yeah, that's, that's also true. Even Fox bullied Quicksilver and Disney. Yeah, there you are, not. Didn't Death Matter do that too, Quicksilver? <laughs> I guess they kind of did. <laughs> Yeah, just bringing him back in uh, Thorn vs. Goku Black. <laughs> I mean, they could actually do that because one of Wanda's powers is casualty manipulation, which reverses the field of a non-casualty. So she can bring Quicksilver back and then, like, Zatanna accidentally hits him, gets him tailed again. Oh, <laughs> God. You know, I kind of feel bad with laughing about this because Quicksilver does have his fans and it's... Uh, sorry, Quicksilver fans. It's just yeah. kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> One day, one day, Quicksilver fans, he'll get his own chance to shine in the MCU. Maybe. Yeah. And hopefully not just I mean, cast as a joke if, in one division. Yeah, that's if they actually bring back the X-Men uh, Quicksilver. Yeah, let's I be mean, real, he's the goated Quicksilver. The only downside to Scarlet Witch is she doesn't technically have full control of her powers, because she's still mentally unstable a little bit. I think that would be more of a disadvantage for Satana over Scarlet Witch. I mean... If she starts losing control and starts, like, blasting the universe apart, it's like, that's, well, that's scary. When you're mentally unstable, your mental defenses kind of go down, so that might help. Yeah, and 
I do want to just add the whole, like, uh, me keeping in mind the whole, like, speaking backwards thing for Zatanna. Uh, going back to uh, Strange vs. Fate, they did bring that up as, like, at least a slight edge for Dr. Fate, given how close that fight was. Because, like, Fate can cast the majority of his spells non-verbally, but Strange has to do specific, like, incantations and hand gestures. Right, yeah. I won't say that's... I feel like meant too many people use that as, like, the definitive reason why Strange was a better caster. Oh, no, I'm not... I'm not using that as a definitive reason, I'm just yeah. mentioning, like, they brought that up as, like, a slight edge, and just saying keep that in mind. Yeah, um, I feel like most people, uh, when it comes to fights that are really close, they try and look for a very, no, I wouldn't say nitpicky, but you know, a very specific sort of edge, which when you really yeah. think about it, it doesn't give that much of an advantage. You know. Well, it's... I mean, I know the one that they really went with for, um... Uh, at least I remember Liam talking about this because he did like a research blog for that fight years ago. Uh, the thing he went back on when he realized how close that fight is was the uh, uh, Strange fought in a war for like 5,000 years, but uh, Nabu, like the actual like Dr. Fate god, has been fighting wars for billions of years. Yeah. So, they sound I have really... one more. Ahead. I think th this is what it will come down to because Zaytano at the point of DC. Uh... In a lot of DC stories, she is still somewhat of an apprentice when it comes to her magic. Compared to her father, she's still somewhat learned in her capabilities with her magic. So, I guess really it'll depend on experience with magic as well. And honestly, I feel like Scarlet just has more experience with magic. Being trained by Avengers, Doctor Strange, uh, other ce uh, Celestials, and Agatha at one point. Because, uh, you know, it's a good idea for a villain to train their arch-nemesis. <laughs> that, that, Every that... time we bring up Agatha, I'm just remembering that song. <laughs> it's so... a catchy song, man. <laughs> it was Black. Agatha all along, and I killed Sparky, too. Oh, why? Why did you oh. bring that up? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> the thing I wanted to avoid most on Lads Discuss Death but was doggy deaths. <laughs> okay. Boy. Sorry. No, you're not. Before we wrap up, there is one more specific note, and I wanted to bring this up because we were bringing up Doctor Doom earlier. Doctor Doom has stated, and I quote, that Wanda has powers that is above the cosmic cube Beyonder. The Beyonder can just create create universes for fun. Oof. Fuck. Okay, the moment hey, Doctor then. Doom is hyping you up, you're the real deal. Okay, and... <laughs> You mentioned the Beyonder. Yes. Oh no. You guys remember, he has, and I quote, millions of times the power of the entire Marvel multiverse. Ooh. Yeah, it's true. Jesus. Okay then. So, I think it's safe who we're all picking. Um, Wanda. Wanda. Yeah, I'm pretty much going with Wanda as well. Don't get me wrong, I don't think this matchup is a stomp, but I definitely feel like Scarlet has more destructive capabilities of her magic than No, I've... I was watching the commentary for uh, Jinx vs. Harley, and the crew did mention that a little bit, and they said that uh, this fight is ridiculously close. I think it just depends on whose defenses are better. Like, it kind of reminds me of Steven vs. Star in a sense, can like... Wanda get past Zatanna's defenses before Zatanna finishes her off. Yeah, because Zatanna, when she was when she's fighting like um, universal destroying beings or multiverse destroying beings, she also has to sort of get on their level. And yeah, she's no pushover. She will literally tear apart comet panels and tear it into our reality to try and win a fight. So it's crazy how we've had so. Well, not so many, but we've had like a lot of reoccurring characters that are tearing apart their own reality to win a fight in uh, the last few death battles. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I think this just goes to show what happens when you have a series that's being milked to the brim. <laughs> I must thought you said, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I could do a good Mickey Mouse. I mean, oh, 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 wow. cease and desist, motherfuckers! <laughs> Put that on a no, shirt. Really, really, really. 
Billy, next time you die in Among Us, that's gonna be my response when I report your body. Wow! Wow! Oh god damn it. I like this definitely depends on if Satana's defenses can hold up, which is possible. But probably forgetting some stuff, keep in mind, like with um I forgot the items in Jinx versus Harley. It's possible we're forgetting something for Zatanna. Uh, I'm not, I'm, to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if Zatanna wins. Because, like, you know, if the whole going berserk thing, like, uh, Sean Bart the Scarlet, does leave her open to mind manipulation, which Zatanna does have. Yeah, well, I can see that being a disadvantage, but... I feel well, like that, and I think, like, on average, the, like, higher tier, like, power-wise, uh, DC characters are usually, like, above the Marvel characters. Yeah, so... But I'm still confident Scarlet has enough destructive capabilities to bring down Satana. I mean, when Doctor Doom says you are absurd, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that says a lot. Now, <laughs> Fuck the Doom of all people, yeah. And considering the fact he views gods as beneath him, yeah. Uh, Fireballs, enjoy the guest. Do you have any uh, things you want to add to this? And then we'll wrap up. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I've had my, my, my only, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I had it, um, Contribution? oh, my only exposure to, uh, Zatanna, uh, was, uh, the uh, Young Justice, and, uh, that, that was it. I think that's how most people did get exposed to this character. For Scarlet Witch, I had uh, like a little uh, less uh, exposure uh, than uh, kind of that. After uh, listening to you guys about uh, what these uh, uh, fighters are capable of, I'm going for Scarlet Witch. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, we could be wrong, uh, but you know, I guess we'll all be wrong together. <laughs> Yeah, like, must I bring up Sasuke versus Hiei? Yeah. Look hey, at how they massacred EA. my boy. Hey, we referenced that episode too. <laughs> yeah, hey. might as well bring that old joke back, so I know these guys love it when I do that. I mean, to be fair, it's not as bad as the other time you messed up a Sasuke thing, so... <laughs> just gonna leave that there. <laughs> oh my goodness. I wasn't even that much of a bad screw-up. It was funny as shit. Uh, well, whatever shit you're looking at, I want to see it. Gross. So, uh, we've all said our piece, though, about Harley Quinn versus Jinx and Zatanna versus Scarlet Witch. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Also, before I'm we end good. this podcast, people, I am aware uh, I've probably said Zatanna's name in about ten different ways. It's one of those names which, depending on your accent, you're going to say it in a certain way. So I do apologise, I'm trying to say it in every way I know, just to please everyone. I am sorry, but I also hope you will understand. And with that said, uh, thank you, Fireball, for once again joining us for Lance Discuss Death Battle. Did you have fun? Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Uh, this was really uh, awesome. I hope to uh, be coming uh, a lot more in the future. Uh, yeah, you also, hey, you got to talk about... about that. You also got to talk about a fight where your preferred character won. Also, is your secretary the giant Darth Vader in your room? Uh, no, he's my security guard. Um, yeah, that too. Your preferred character won. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My, my heart say character. That, we can say that for <laughs> most of our guests. Uh, you know, most of their preferreds lose. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah. Voice uh, crack. Fuck. <laughs> um, Richard lost Cora and uh, well, I guess Fireball Kira technically lost, lost Alucard and yeah Kira lost Savage but hey at least Fireball redeemed himself with Jinx totally random hey. totally random question though uh, no one has like, no one here has Harley Quinn as their number one waifu in fiction do they? no nope I mean if they develop a way to bring cartoon characters to real life I would be at Ben's to say the least. Damn it, Billy. Yes it's... or no, Billy? To answer the question. 
leave it on a cliffhanger. Find out in the next episode of Let's Discuss Death Battle. Boo. Next episode, does Bill want to be pegged by Harley Quinn? But anyway. <laughs> uh, mate, uh, do you want to do your outro? Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe. If you did not enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you, Fireball, for coming back on. Uh, check out uh, more of the stuff that Billy does. Click the links in the description to go check out what, whatever me or Sean and were doing. Also, go see Sonic the Hedgehog 2. It's great. And stay till the credit scene. Do you just want to do a video talking about Sonic 2 at some point? Oh, I'd love to. All right, then. Well, we'll leave that on the back burner. Sean, your outro. Thank you, folks, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Last Discuss Death Battle. Let us know your thoughts on Harley Quinn versus Jinx, as well as what you think about Scarlet Witch versus Zatanna. And, of course, Fireball, thank you for coming back on the podcast. It's so much fun to have you on. At least for me, it is. I don't know about the other two. Oh, no, I enjoyed his company. He was fun. Uh, it's the first time you two met, to be fair, so yeah. great. Thank you folks for watching, and I will see you all later. Hashtag stop the billying. And with that, thank you all ladies and gentlemen for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to share around, get the channel growing, and stick around. We'll have more in stock for you. Farewell everybody. The answer is yes, I would like to be pegged by Harley Quinn. <laughs>